Hi. Welcome to the crack of dawn. I can't believe it, we're on the beach. Now there's gonna be people walking by, dogs, cats, all sorts of things, babies. Um, we are on the beach, yeah. And I was upstairs and the glare was so bad, I just decided to come down on the street. Um, I don't have my cameraman, we're not in the studio because of COVID, so it's not, I'm on my own. I'm trying to be like the news anchor ladies, putting on all this makeup and stuff. And uh, you know, so far it's not working out so good. So I miss you, Len Roy. I miss you, uh, Joe. I miss my camera guys. I miss my um, directors. And uh, we'll see you back in the studio soon. But anyway, this is much better than the green room. And um, yeah, I don't look as great, but whatever. I don't have that kind of lighting. Um, I just filmed an episode on Zoom. I've been teaching Zoom in Hartford with my students for four months now. And um, I just tried to do a Zoom here upstairs and the whole thing erased. And um, my director was laughing because he's like, Dawn, it's so easy. And I'm like, I know, I've been doing it for four months as a teacher in Hartford. And, um, you know, call me slow, but, you know, I just am. So anyway, I I've got this video thing down. So when I'm done with this, we're just going to send it. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this beach. Um, I'm not from here. My sister's family's from here. Most of the people on this street are from here. It's pretty cool. I think it's called New Silver Beach. Yep. And um, there's Old Silver Beach, New Silver Beach. This is Falmouth, Cape Cod, gorgeous. Um, let me just give you a look, okay, behind me. It's beautiful. Uh, lots of houses, lots of people coming by. And then you got some dead end down here where they have a yacht club or something, I don't even know. Uh, very nice though, okay, so yeah. And the neighbors don't mind, you know, I'm not that loud. But anyway, uh, what we're gonna do, my sister just brought me some tape. This stuff is 3M, my husband sells this. I'm just gonna tape the phone because it's kind of windy and I don't want the phone blowing off the thing. Okay, so I just taped the phone to the steps. Um, anyway, here's what we're gonna show you. So behind me, you can't really see it, but there's some dinghies. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about some dinghies. Ann Packard, she's one of my favorite painters and um, you can look her up because I don't wanna tell her whole, I don't wanna hang her dirty laundry because she's a pretty cool lady and she's been through a lot, but now she's super loaded and rich from painting boats. And then when she got really rich, she was like, I don't wanna paint boats anymore. I'm to totally famous for painting boats, specifically dinghies, um, not yachts. So she made millions off of her boats and she lives in Provincetown, Cape Cod. Um, if you look her up, she went from rags to riches um, very quickly. Well, actually, no, it was a long, hard, uh, hard labor of love. And um, now her prints sell for millions. So congratulations, Anne, I would love to meet you. But um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, so I erased my entire first episode. So this is what I got. Now, if you're looking at this, um, you know, some people are like, oh, that's not that good. And it's like, um, yeah, I can paint like a realist, but I would have to do like six episodes and it would look exactly what you see behind me. But I really, one of my favorite painters is Pierre Bernard. Um, I love the Impressionist painters, and they are not, they're all about light, okay? So the light's not as great as it was this morning, okay? So you can see this really, really light green here, and then the deep dark, um, the dinghies, the white's very important, very, very important. So shadow is very important, there's no shadow now. So I'm out here with like basically nothing to work with, but I do have this first painting. So I'll do a couple of them because my boss wants two episodes, two 30 minute episodes. So I'll show you, we'll do a couple of them because I'll just give them away to people walking by. Mm -hmm. I don't want these things. Okay, so basically what I was doing is I was drawing, I'm gonna draw with a pencil. Okay, you can see it here. Um, anyway, um, basically we're on the end here. So there's like a marsh. So let me look at this one while I'm doing it so I can kind of show you. So the water kind of goes like this and then it kind of goes over here. Okay, and then it cuts over here. Then there's a house over here. These Cape Cod houses are kind of cute. I mean, it's not a big deal to draw one. Let's go fast. Um, a dormer is over here. Makes the house go a little more. Windows, all you need is a couple of these things. Okay, and the dinghies, like Ann Packard draws, um, it's just a, uh, you know, triangle with, hi there, triangle like this, and you know, you got your things there. You don't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, I've got some perfect paintings. If you want to see my New England Patriots paintings or my horse racing paintings, look them up, they're perfect. But sometimes you get sick of those things. So anyway, you want a basic sketch before you start drawing. A lot of my students will be like, Missy Lombardi, I'm ready for paint. And I'm like, no, you're not. You need a sketch, okay? So we're gonna go back to the other painting before my paints dry out. All I have is a Dixie cup with some different color brushes, different uh, size brushes, nothing fancy, okay? 
We're gonna try to get two episodes in here. I'm gonna put this down here, put it right on my other canvas here. Um, thank you to the Amy Wildhat collection. I've got another gorgeous shirt, Anthropology. And uh, thank you, Eric Dostel, um, swapped a six foot by four foot painting of Tasty Tops for these um, Maui gems, which are awesome. But Eric, my, my son put them on the other day and he was like, mom, I can see perfects. And I'm like, what was the eye doctor in Hartford thinking? He told my son his script was so bare that he didn't even need glasses. And my kid put these on, I'm basically blind. He's like, mom, I see perfectly. I'm like, oh my God, we're not going to that eye doctor anymore. We're going to Eric. So we're gonna try to keep the light from the morning. Okay, the lights changed. Now it's four hours different, which means the light's gonna shift, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go by what's behind me. There's people starting up their boats and stuff. It's so fun. Um, so I'm kind of just gonna, I'm gonna add the American flag in the background. You can see it waving there. Um, anytime you put an American flag or whatever country you're from, put that flag in there, you know, um, makes it more patriotic. Okay, it doesn't matter where you're from, I don't care, but put your flag there and uh, wave it proudly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got some colors here. Let me show you what I've got. Now, normally back in Connecticut, these colors would be dried out by now. This was, this was three hours ago, maybe four. They're still wet. You know why? Because of the air and the ocean behind me. Okay, it's like hydrangeas. You can put a hydrangea in full sun down at the Cape or the vineyard. So I'm like, I went and planted about 10 hydrangea bushes. I put them in full sun in the front of my house. Guess what? They wilt, they die, they don't look great. And I'm like, what happened? They do it at the Cape, they're in full sun. I didn't realize hydrangea, hydrate means water. So they need water. Yeah, so if you plant the hydrangeas here at the beach, they get plenty of water because you got it in the air. Okay, it's pretty neat. Um, so we're gonna go in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my painting very Pierre Bonnard, okay? Because I like loose. I can do a tight painting. I mean, just look me up, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't know how to do everything. But this comes naturally to me. Okay, I've got a nice yellow going here. Okay, and I'm gonna go over. A lot of it dripped. I need it a little bit more yellow because I like it like that. Okay, don't wanna put a lot of blue in there. Okay, it looks kind of nice. Keep it loose. Okay, we're gonna look there. The light is totally different than it was before. But you know what, I don't care. I'm just gonna make it the way I want. Mm -hmm. So I hope everybody's been doing great. We're hoping for a cure for this dang thing. Um, it's kind of a pain. I can't even believe I'm down at the Cape. We took a um, we took a long time before we decided what we were gonna do. I'm gonna put the water. Everybody's like, water's blue. And I'm like, no, it's not. Water's the reflection of the sky. So the sky is blue right now, but earlier the sky was not. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna keep a maximum amount of blue, but not too much, okay? Because it's not really, it's kind of hard working like this. Uh, my back problem's gone, thank God. You know what I think it was, is sitting. I can't sit for long periods of time. Okay, so we're gonna look and I'm gonna put my sky a little bit more blue than before and take some blue and some white here. And I'm just gonna put that in, see? Make it a little bit more blue. You don't have to have it perfect. Again, you paint the sides. Always paint the sides here. It's very important to paint the sides. I'm gonna make, put a little black in there because I don't want it perfectly blue because it is a little bit overcast, you know, just a little that gray in there, maybe a little bit. Bring it over there a little bit. Okay, put it in the water a touch because the sky is a reflection. Sorry, the water is a reflection of the sky. Put a little bit of that in. I'm keeping this loose again. Um, I don't really like tight painters. Again, I do them all the time, but in my spare time, I like to do, uh, I like to keep it loose. Paintings are much better, I think. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some white. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get some more white too get it out of my bag. I got some white here. Not a, not a great brand, it's fine. You can paint with everything, anything you want. So I'm gonna look for my lights and my darks. Again, you want shadow, which is the morning and when the sun goes down. You're not gonna get much light right now. Everybody's like, what are you, what are you talking about, Dawn? It's light out. I'm like, I know, but I'm looking for shadow. Shadow's what you wanna have when you're a painter. So most people, uh, Rembrandt, painter of light, most people, you wanna have, you wanna have some good light in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, my water's like tipping over here, but it's fine. Throw in this. I'm going in with my white, looking for some uh, some more lights and darks. Again, you gotta look up Ann Packard, it's crazy. She's so rich now. And she had to pay her rent, and she would hang her paintings. She'd hang her paintings on the side of the fence. 35 bucks, yep. 
I'm gonna put a little dark in here because the boat isn't all gonna be shining on the same thing. I'm gonna make the light coming from the right, okay? I can put a little bit of dark here because the boat has a little bit of shadow on it, okay? Kind of going here. Not that much, but again, you're gonna have all these white, you're gonna make, make a little gray there. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And it's so fun down here, I love it. We went to uh, the court courthouse, courtyard, I don't know what it is. Anyway, some hockey player. I was like, Wendy, I think he guarded Wayne Gretzky, and she's like, what are you talking about? No, no, I said Bobby Orr. And she was like, what are you talking about? It's the wrong generation. It was Wayne Gretzky. I'm like, what? So apparently this guy's a great hockey player that owns the courtyard and um, his job, well, whatever, he was a fantastic hockey player. And then I guess his job was to guard Wayne Gretzky, I think. And uh, so the guy didn't get hurt. So anyway, I think he, Wendy said he played for the Bruins, but he was waiting on us last night. He's so nice. And uh, the courtyard. So if you go down to the Cape, that's a great place to hit. Um, another great place to hit. Well, we drove over to the Silver Lounge first, but uh, it looked like they were closing up. There we go, we got some shadow in there. Remember, you're looking for light, looking for light. Very important. Okay, I'm gonna make the next side of this boat is gonna be gray too. But eventually, I'm gonna go back in and put the light. And this is gonna be a very simple painting because that's what I'm going for here. Okay, I'm looking for simple. Looking for light. These brushes are not that great. See that? It's all split, so you want to add some water to that so that you can get a good tip there going. I'm going to grab another brush because this one looks a little better. Okay. So once I'm done here, it should be a lot of fun. But I just like people walking by here. It's kind of nice. I love it. Now I'm going to do the boat is going to be the, the light is obviously coming from this angle. So you, all your light is going to be going like this. Okay, I like globs. If you don't like globs, you can get rid of them. It's not a big deal. Okay, again, it's gonna be hitting this side of the boat. Okay, and it's gonna be coming down here, hitting this side of the boat, like that. This side of the boat is gonna have some gray, okay, that I didn't notice before. Again, the light changes, so it's kinda, it's kinda freaky. But it's fun. And remember, you don't have to, you know, Nothing has to be perfect. We're doing live here, you know. And uh, hi there. Hi, see people are coming by and they're gonna be on TV. Ah, oh, can you believe it? They're gonna be on TV in Connecticut. Oh, public access television we're talking. Nothing fancy. I'm not that famous yet. We're on the public access show, channel five. But also, if you're in Connecticut, only 12 towns get us. Plainfield, Avon, Simsbury, Farmington, Canton, Bristol, New Britain. I don't even know. A couple more. But all the fancy towns, yeah. They don't get it in heart for darn it because my kids are always asking me to watch it. But I'm like, you can watch it on YouTube. And they're like, what, we can? I'm like, yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. And uh, you know, I don't think anybody's gonna really watch TV anymore because um, I mean, you can watch Nutmeg TV, but you know, all these movie stars and everything, they're looking for us right now. They're like, where did our fans go? And everybody's kind of like, well, we're watching our kids on TikTok, sorry. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but the Nutmeg TV is fun because we kind of, well, I know I wing it. I don't know about everybody else. Again, if your son is coming from this angle, it's going to be hitting the tip of this boat over here. I'll show you. you get it on yourself. It's not a big deal. Uh, the sun is going to be hitting this part of the boat right here. And if the boat has any uh, of those seats, it might be hitting those. Just a little, not a lot. Touch. Okay, you're gonna throw that in there. And again, hopefully it comes out good, I don't know. These kind of houses down here, they have these cedar shingles. You don't put those on a house in Connecticut. Mm -mm. You gotta leave at the beach to have these things. I mean, a couple houses have them. I don't think Photo Stulos had them on his house. I don't even know. His house is so fancy. Now they're all foreclosed. Um, this house over here has some cedar shingles and it's kind of like a warm brown. So you're gonna take this yellow ochre and you're gonna mix it with some gray and a little bit of white and you're gonna get this great kind of taupe color. Okay, which is the color of this house right here, which is gonna, it's just gonna warm it up a bit. We're gonna keep it simple, very simple. Uh, I need a bigger brush, so I'm gonna get one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a bigger brush. Um, yep. 
I keep thinking the kids are out there kayaking and I'm like, what if a shark comes? And they're like, there's no seals here. And I'm like, really? What if one gets trapped in the bay? And they're like, no, they don't come in here. But I keep thinking, what if one swims in and he gets trapped, you know, and then he can't get out? I don't know. I'm always afraid of sharks when I come down here. And even when I was a kid, we don't, we don't like the beach. My sister and I, we, we don't like it. Yeah, we're like, everybody's like, we're going to the beach. And we're like, ugh, we hate it. And they're like, really? Are you kidding me? You're so lucky. And we're like, no, we don't like it. We just don't. And my dad will start on fire at the beach, like my kid. He's white as a piece of paper, really. And uh, he could put on all the sunscreen in the world and forget it. It doesn't work. Um, I'm going to put this dormer. Now, this is what people do when they want to add, like, you know, another part of their house. See? Put that on there. I'm gonna put this there. Sometimes you get it on yourself trying to do this, but it's all right. This house has a little like fence over here. Remember, keep it keep it light. Don't go crazy over it. Uh, there's some sticks and stuff in the front floating. I'll put those around. I'm gonna keep this very light because I don't want to. Uh, I want this to be a very Ann Packardy look. Ann did not pay attention to detail. Some of her paintings, yes but most of them, no. So Anne didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back and do some green. I'm gonna keep it, keep it, keep it soft here, because that's what I like to do. I like to go crazy with it. I'm doing some green, Put some yellow with that. Got a good green going on here. Boat just drove by. Everybody has these boats. I can't tell what's fancy and what's not. Some people know, but I don't know. And Wendy's like, that boat's worth tons. I'm like, it is? How do you know? She's like, we just know. I don't really know that stuff. No. I'm going to just put some, uh, loosely putting some darker greens in here. You know, nothing fancy. Remember, I'm telling you, we're doing a Pierre Bernard. My favorite painter. Uh, impressionist. Paint the sides. People don't want to frame these things. It costs more for the frame than the painting. I'm not kidding. Okay. And you know, I've been giving more to charity, yeah? Baseball, they need money. I'm like, take them. They're like, Dawn, what if we only get 15 bucks for one of them? I'm like, oh, that's a batting glove. I don't care, worry about it. Some people will say, oh, Dawn, I'm so sorry we only got $15 for charity for your cupcakes. I'm like, who cares? It's $15, money's money. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna go back in now. My, my water is bluish, brownish, darkish, okay, like this. You see? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of put that in there. It's got some uh, ripply stuff going on, so you wanna leave some of it kind of open. Remember, I'm not doing a realist painting here. I don't wanna. I don't like the realist ones. Save that for the horse races. Save that for the uh, Patriots. I just did one very realistic. You saw it last episode with the horse. Um, thanks to Nutmeg TV for having us. This is so great. All the producers, um, like myself, I didn't really know I was a producer. Everybody was like, Dawn, you're the producer. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean I'm the producer? They're like, you're producing your own show. So thanks for watching. Hopefully John Olivier and uh, Bridget Gleason. You should see her, follow her on Instagram. Crazy, great photographer. She's covering the COVID in New York City. And she's getting some really good, um, not just protesting pictures, but people that uh, help. There goes a skateboarder. I could never do that. Um, I'm gonna put some more white in my sky because when I put my American flag in, I really want that to stand out. Okay, so I'm gonna put some white in there, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there, because I like it. Okay, and I'm gonna put some white here because the reflection on the uh, water is coming down from this, the clouds. Yeah, put that in there. Okay, it's getting very dark though towards where the boats are. Water's getting darker, that kind of thing happens. Okay, it's turning green, very swamp-like, okay? Even though it's not a swamp, it is very brownish green. So people are like, how do you make brownish green? And I'm like, brown and green, mix it together. You got brownish green, okay? This is very swampity looking over here, so I'm gonna make it like that, okay? Putting it in swamp looking like over here. Put that in there, okay? It's looking nice. I mean, we want the contrast is what we're looking for here, okay? Um, the house, it's got like a bird feeder, but I'm gonna do that flag because watch, when you put the American flag in, the whole thing just pops. Beautiful. Uh, I need a skinny brush. Uh, hopefully my back problems doesn't get 
come back because that was a problem. I had um, basically a pharmacy in my pocketbook. I'm not kidding. I had dexamethasone. I had uh, oxycontins. Contins? I don't know what they're called. I know that you need a shot of fentanyl or a um, Narcan uh, shot if you get addicted to that stuff. So guess what? I didn't take any of it. Mm-mm. None of it. I'm not a drug-popping pill person. Um, you know, I feel bad for people that are, but all that stuff. And I didn't dump it in the toilet because you're not supposed to. Then I tried to give it to the pharmacy and they were like, uh, why don't you come back with that? And I was like, what do you mean? I thought you're supposed to bring it to the pharmacy. Um, I'm gonna make the flagpole. Now, if you can't draw a straight line, just try, okay? And then my flag goes up like this. I might wanna make the sky a little bit darker so that you can see my flag. I messed up, I didn't mean that before. Make it a little darker here, see? So when I do put my flag in, you're gonna be able to see it. So I throw that over there like that, okay? Now my flagpole is not straight, but you want yours straight. So if you need a straight edge, use a ruler, whatever you got. Okay, there's some sort of wall here. And I'll show you everything in a minute. There's a wall right here, and uh, it's like above that flagpole there. So we're gonna put that there. Okay, we're gonna put that all the way over to here. It's a wall. Okay, that's a wall there. And then it turns dark on the bottom of the wall. So we're just gonna make it darker on the bottom. It's rocks, basically, okay? You can't really tell that, but it is, it's rocks. So we're gonna put that there. Again, you need a pointy tip to your brush or it won't work out. So I'm gonna put this down here and this is the rock wall here. Doesn't have to look perfect because again, I am not doing a realistic painting. I'm just putting this in here. Okay, again, the water kind of goes over to there. So I'm gonna have to move that around here. Okay, I kind of messed it up there. Uh, it's kind of like a swampy, eh, like a lightish blue swamp colored. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. Right here. I'm going to have to pull that water over here. So I'm going to pull that over. Pull that over here. Like this. Pulling that over. And, you know, I don't know how this is going to look. It looks a lot better. You know, I'm going to throw that in there. <laughs> throw that in there now you got people walking by I don't know if I just messed that up but you know I don't care yeah so here we go we got a couple more he wants two episodes otherwise I'm fired so I don't want anybody taking my spot yeah I could have my whole spot taken someone could say you know that Dawn Lombardi she's not she's not producing anything anymore she took a break where'd she go and I'm gonna be like well you know, I'm not the greatest at this, but we're gonna try. Bye. I'm gonna put that in there, okay? Again, it's looking pretty good. Give it to someone down here when I'm done. Um, we could put another boat in the water. There looks like there's a Boston Whaler there. I don't think it's my sister's, but it could be. Um, I can't put the Boston Whaler because I forgot the pencil. So guess what? We're stuck, okay? Let's put the flag in there, okay? Let's get some red out. While I put down the painting, you can see around here how nice it is. I'm just gonna unstick my phone for a minute. Um, you can see, see how nice? It's gorgeous. All the kids are out here having a ball. It's not as crowded as it usually is because of this crazy virus. But um, yeah, see how nice? I love it here. Ah. And my sister's house is great. Look at, she puts these little cute starfish in her window. And then she's got her little chair there, but she doesn't want to be on the show. So we don't, so we don't, we don't have to have her on the show. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. Brian is my boss at the television show. And Joni, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for keeping me on the air all these years. I mean, I, I made a comeback this, this year. So we're probably on our 52nd episode, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Okay. And again, the painters that are like, wait a minute. She's not that good. I'm like, yeah, I am. I know what I'm doing. You want to make me paint it realistic? I will, but you're going to have to watch about six episodes. So we're keeping it loose here. We're going impressionism. It's the way I was trained. And, uh, you know, all those impressionist painters, my, lot, I've got lots of favorites, not just Bonnard, but um, there's some great painters out there. Now, the reason why they're so loose, guess why? Because they're outside. They're waiting for the light. Yeah. So when Monet did the haystacks, um, those are hanging in the Hillstead Museum, by the way, only two of them, but the Hillstead Museum is about a mile from my house, not even a half a mile from my house. You go in and you're gonna realize that Monet had to go to back to the haystacks uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon, pretty much, 
well, he was in France, so I don't know what time it was there, but you had to go back the same time every day so that you could get the same light. My light's changing. I started at seven o'clock in the morning and the light was much better than it is now. So that's what happens. There goes the cars, yeah, isn't it fun? It's so fun, everybody's walks around here. So we need some red for that American flag. So I'm gonna get some red out here. I might not have any red. Oh, I have red. This is alizarin crimson, okay? It's not the red I want. Let's see if I have another red. Yeah, I do. I've got another red, cadmium red deep. Perfect. So there's uh, Peter. I think, no, he has Vermont plates. It looked like Peter. That's crazy. But they don't know how to say Peter down here. No. Think of pita bread. Yeah, that's what they call him. Pita. I'm like, what? Where did the R go? And they're like, oh, we don't say the R. Not in Cape Cod. Okay. So we're going to do that American flag. Now it's not a big deal. Okay. It's just stripes. They don't have to be perfect because the thing's blowing in the wind. Okay. So I'm going to get that red. I'm going to add a little white to it, which you're going to think is going to turn it pink, but you know what? I'm going to just, just so it's not deep, deep red. Okay. So I got this little tip here. Um, I'm going to put that very loosely going this way. Oopsie. I need a smaller brush. See, that's not going to work out. Uh, I don't know if I have a smaller brush. I might. I've got to make a teeny, teeny stripe. Okay, so I'm going to make my stripes. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We're not looking for perfect. We're doing impressionism. Okay? I mean, it's, it's okay. Now I've got to add that navy blue part of it in the background, so you're going to need some navy blue. There's different kinds of blue. There's cerulean, there's phalo, there's cadmium red. Cadmium, no, there's no cadmium blue. Cadmium's just lead. So that would be yellow, orange, red. There is no lead in blue, okay? But people don't think there's lead in paint, and there is. It's called cadmium. But a lot of my paints are made in France. I'm sorry, England. And um, they don't have the same rule there. Okay, now we're not doing the stars on the flag, because guess what? I'm not doing a realist painting. I'm doing an impressionist painting. All we care about is that the light looks good. See that? Now we've got the American flag in the background, which makes it great, okay? I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit different. There's a big sailboat going by in there. I'm gonna put that in. It's, uh, I don't know what it's called. Wendy told me. I think it's called like an Osprey, maybe. I don't even know. Um, so that's a big boat going by in the background and it is, I'm gonna put, put my palette here, but hold on, the wild clack collection is gonna get ruined. So I gotta move these bows, these bows here on my shirt, I'm gonna put them inside because they're gonna blow into my palette and they're gonna get wrecked. So yeah, she gives me the clothes for the show. Nicole Miller used to send clothes for me to wear on the show. Thanks to Al Nixon. Yeah, his daughter works for Nicole Miller and she sent me scarves, she sent me, she sent me a $1,200 dress just to wear on a painting show. Can you believe it? It's like, who would do that? and I wore it and I didn't get anything on it and I sent it back to her, but I didn't dry clean it. Sorry, Nicole. Um, okay, so we're gonna go in. Now, what I'm gonna do is I said I was gonna put that Osprey. It's like a, it's sort of like a little boat you start out on, I think. So I'm gonna put that thing. Uh, oh, it went away. All right.